Welcome, I'm Joan Anderson with the Lancaster County Medical Society and our topic today is the health care market, well health insurance marketplace. It's actually known by a number of names, the Affordable Care Act, uh, Marketplace Exchange. I'm sure you've heard these names over the last uh, few months if not uh, prior to that. But we're here to talk to you about what this means to you as a citizen in Lincoln and surrounding areas, how you might get information about the health insurance marketplace, and where you can go to get assistance in enrolling. This program is sponsored by not only the Medical Society, but the Community Health Endowment. We are going to be having a lot of information provided, many websites, many phone numbers, so I'd like you to, if you can, Flip up your volume if you have to run and get a paper and pencil while I introduce my uh, guests that have joined me in studio because I really want to make sure you have a paper and pen with you so you can write things down as we go. So while you're doing that, I'm going to introduce uh, those people with me today. Christina Buckholtz, who is with AARP. Houston Doan, who is a very familiar face to the viewers of uh, Channel 10, is with Aging Partners. Maybe a newer face is Amber Hansen, who's with the Community Action of Nebraska. And all three have a little different role, so we will be talking about that. But before we get into their specific uh, agency's role, I think you will find as we go through the conversation here that we realize this Affordable Care Act, the health insurance marketplace, is going to take a village. And for those people who have lived in Lincoln for a while, you know we have lots of agencies that are advocates for this type of thing. The Lincoln-Lancaster Health Department has actually taken it upon themselves, since this is a public health issue, to bring not only uh, the four of our agencies, but many other agencies, including libraries, People's Health Center, really anyone that is interested in our ethnic centers and making sure their client base is knowledgeable and have doorways to have assistance for this. We meet on a weekly basis, so we're focusing on Lincoln. But you'll also see throughout uh, the program, we will talk about Enroll Nebraska, which AARP has a more significant role. Some of us are also at that table. Enroll Nebraska is an agency that is working with statewide organizations. And there is a website for Enroll Nebraska that is updated well, daily for sure, or weekly for sure, and possibly daily. As soon as we have different forums, different activities, it will be on that website. Lastly, before we go to our guests, I would just like to say that the Community Health Endowment and the Medical Society will be holding community forums over the next few weeks. We are going to roll those lists. We have them located at the Center for People in Need, at the LMEP Partnership, both hospital campuses and the CHE campus. We'll give you those details at the end. We really encourage you to attend one of those sessions or some of the sessions that we'll talk about with our partners here. That's where you're going to get specific information about how do I enroll, where do I go to get some assistance, will I qualify for tax credits, uh, all of that kind of information that we will just barely touch on today. So with that introduction, we're gonna start with Christina. Christina, if you could just tell us a little bit about the role of AARP. Yes, okay. I'd like to. The Lincoln Library System and AARP have partnered to schedule an information forum at most of the Lincoln Library locations. Each library will offer a date and a time and a place for local residents to learn about the new health care options. Check with your local library to find out what the schedule is and if there is um, possibly more than one event scheduled at that location. Many AARP volunteers are available to give a 25-minute Affordable Care Act presentation. This will familiarize the general public with an overview of the enrollment process for health insurance coverage. The AARP speaker will distribute information, forms, schedules, timelines, deadlines, and a list of the insurance providers in Nebraska and pop possibly also answer a few questions. We encourage everybody to hear the information about the enrollment process, whether you need insurance at this time or not. Okay, so that kind of tags on to the community forums that I mentioned that CHE and LCMS will be doing. Um, None of us care where you go <laughs> for the information. We just want you to go get the information because, as Christina said, 
Um, it's very important to, and you may want to go to more than one presentation because if you're like me, hearing it once, it's like, okay, I know a little bit. Hearing it the second time, I may actually get it. So your uh, presentations as well as our presentations with CHE will be posted on that e uh, Enroll Nebraska site. So again, we will be sending all that information at the end of uh, the session here. Houston, Aging Partners, you have a little bit different role. We do, um, and thank you for yes. inviting me and to represent the Lincoln Area Agency on Aging, Aging Partners. Um, we have a, a rather unique niche in the population because quite candidly, um, the majority of the people that all of the area agencies work with, and there's eight area agencies on aging throughout Nebraska, uh, the bulk of those people are, are 65 and ol older and you know, um, those people are typically on Medicare and so they are not exactly uh, impacted by much of any of the regulations that have come about through the Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a sliver of the population that is age 60 to 64 basically that are not eligible for Medicare and those are the people that we are concerned about because many times um, that population um, is underinsured or not insured. Um, many of the older adults in that segment um, have lost their jobs. Right. And they're either on COBRA and paying very large healthcare premiums, or again, they have no insurance. Mm -hmm. So it is important that um, people that are 60 to 64 um, really take a hard look at those options that are available and that's where our agency as well as I'm, I'm sure the other area agencies on aging um, will have people to <clears throat> again explain the program um, tell them what options they should look for mm -hmm. again a referral system that we'll have in place not only for Lincoln Lancaster County but probably statewide um, and I know that Amber is going to talk about uh, the mm -hmm. Navigator program. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, people on Medicare, of course, uh, it's against the law if they're approached to buy insurance through a health insurance exchange to sell them that insurance. But Joan, you'd be surprised. Yeah. I get about 10 calls a day. I'm on Medicare, there's mm -hmm. something coming up in right. October, what do I have to do? Do right. I have to change? Do I have to pick? Right. No. If you're on Medicare, you don't have to do a thing okay. as far as the Affordable Care right. Act goes. That's a good takeaway, but I, do, I will um, correct you just a little bit because I don't think it's a sliver of the population. I think well, we're <coughs> having a growing number yeah. of 60s to 64 that uh, have lost their insurance or can't afford their or, insurance or, or, whatever. or underinsured. And yeah. so you will be able to specifically focus on those people and help them understand the process. Help them understand the process, Perfect. the products, uh, and their options. Good. Yeah. Good, good, good. That's, that's what we um, okay. are planning to do. Perfect. Okay. Now, before we get to Amber, I did just want to mention that People's Health Center which is our federally qualified health center here in Lincoln, currently is seeing a number of uninsured patients and they have received some federal grant dollars to do some work with their clients as well. And they were not able to be here today, but they are part of this village that we'll talk about. So if you happen to be a patient at People's Health Center, I would encourage you to talk to your provider, talk to the uh, case managers there because they will be working with their client base as well. Now, Amber, you have even a different role than Christina and Houston. So I'm gonna let you talk about that. All right, thank you. Well, community action agencies all across the state of Nebraska, including here in Lincoln, via the Community Action Partnership of Lancaster and Saunders counties, will be available to provide in-person assistance going through the enrollment process and answering your questions about the health insurance marketplace. So if you or somebody you know has a question about the marketplace or wants help going through the process of applying, you can contact your local community action agency, request the services of a trained navigator. 
Navigators go through a 20-hour training and are certified by the Centers for Medicaid and Medicare Services to provide enrollment assistance. So they're cred credible staff that are qualified to answer mm -hmm. your questions. Um, we'll have everything you need from access to computers, if you're not familiar with them or do not have a computer at home, to the technical knowledge to answer all the questions. And the Lincoln Community Action Partnership of Lancaster Saunders County, their phone number is 402 Eight seven five nine three five five. If you're unable to get a hold of them in the meantime, you can also contact our office, 402-471-3714. Again, all of these numbers are going to be posted at the end of the show. Um, and you all better have your paper and pencil now, since I warned you to begin with. But <clears throat> so the reality of it is that um, ARP and the Medical Society's forms are kind of the first step is what I would suggest, is we'd really like to get you to attend a CHE LCMS forum or an a AARP forum or call you because you're volunteers if you mention the libraries, Christina, but maybe I'm with a church or a civic organization, they can call and ask for a volunteer to come? They yes? can. Okay. There are 19 volunteers who have been trained to present information and they uh, each volunteer will bring a 25-minute presentation to explain the vocabulary and the enrollment process okay. and all of the lists and and the options available for enrollment. Good. Because there may be some individual groups that, you know, I really can't get to one of the CHE forms or the AARP at the library, but they can call and say, we've got a group of 20 or 25 or 125 and you Come would be us. there. Okay. We'll send a volunteer. Perfect. So that's the first step. Let's get the education. Then we've got lots of people that could be calling your number, Amber, that we're going to be showing at the end, or lots of people that will be calling for assistance. So let's talk about, because I know we have received calls at the Medical Society October 1st, when can I get in? And so let's talk about a little bit how that's going to work, and you don't have to be enrolled on October 1st. And in fact, maybe most people are saying kind of hold off for a little while. So what is this first enrollment process, or timeline, I guess? We have until April 1st to enroll in a qualified health plan. So you've got six months from the start of October to identify the plan that you're most comfortable with and that meets your budget and okay. enroll in it. And coverage will start January 1st if you enroll before then. Right. So if you enroll between October 1st and say December 15th, you'll get coverage January 1. Correct. But if you wait until January 15th, yes, you've got January, February, and March, but if I don't enroll until January 15th, then is it a month before my enrollment, or do we know that yet? I am not certain. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think that's actually been set yet. I don't think so either. But for the viewers, we want you to know two things. Number one, you don't have to be sitting on Amber's door <laughs> or Houston's door um, on October 1st or People's Health Center. Uh, you have that time until December that you whether you enroll October 1 or December 1, you're, you won't get coverage until January 1. You do have a grace period, much like they did with Medicare Part D. Very similar. That um, if you enroll in January, February, you'll get coverage. We're assuming, and this is all we don't know yet, but as soon as we know, and hopefully we'll know by the forums or your presentations, does it take a month or two months to kick in? We don't know for sure. Um, but then after the uh, April 1st deadline, then they would be subject to a penalty. And those penalties are still kind of in the making. We pretty much know what they are, and that's where the forums will talk about that penalty. So the message really is don't panic. You've got time. But if you are concerned about getting coverage by January 1st, you really need to hit it within October, November, December. So. Um, the other thing that I think the coalitions and where the Enroll Nebraska website will be important, I know at our weekly meetings the health department is talking about maybe setting up some enrollment banks or computer banks where people can help. I know in our uh, forums we will be handing out lists of resources and we actually have insurance agents that would be willing to help. So really kind of stand by. We're going to have lots of people that will, in addition to the panelists here, that you will be able to go and uh, get assistance. And or 
if it's not a terribly complicated process, if you are comfortable with the computer, and I think they've made it fairly easy that you can get on and do it yourself. Or like in my case, get my 12-year-old grandson to help me. Um, so I think that's the key message is we want you to get information. So contact us at the Medical Society, which is 402-483-4800. And I would tell you, put that number in bold because if you don't remember anything else, we can give you the information. What was that phone number for Amber? Who was that Houston Doan guy or Christina? We can give you all of that information and our staff have all of that. That's 402-483-4800. Um, get that information and then keep the website or we will at the forums be able to give you information about where you can go for assistance. So with that, I would like to thank all of you for being here and if you could help me wrap this up, is there something I've missed? Christina? Yes. For the 35,000 people in Lancaster who do not presently have health insurance, AARP wishes all of you a healthy life and a long life. And if you would like to access this information at your convenience, we would like to help you make decisions and familiarize yourself with the process so that you will be enrolled at the time of your nearest choosing. Great. Houston? Um, You're going to do an advertisement, aren't you? Uh, yes, I okay, am. Okay, go yes, ahead. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, the thing that I think is most important for uh, people that are looking for help and are over the age of 60, if they come to Aging Partners, we are actually a portal or a doorway for many benefits other than perhaps many. this health insurance benefit. So it would be to their advantage to come sit down and talk to um, our uh, representatives uh, either over the phone mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. in person Absolutely. and, and uh, see, hey, what else is there that exactly. may be available for us? Perfect, perfect. And Amber, you guys are just kind of getting started. Anything that we've forgotten yeah. that we need to say? or Well, Community Action will also be doing outreach, so we'll try to get the word out there about okay. how to contact people, especially in your local area if you don't okay. live in Lincoln, what your respective agency is. And I think it's important to remember that this is private insurance through the private market from companies that we're familiar with that are credible that have a long history of providing health insurance in Nebraska and we provide the face-to-face -face contact that a lot of people I think crave in order to get through what seems like a daunting process but really isn't. Similar to Aging Partners, Community Action has a number of other services so if you right. are interested right. in seeing what those are when you come to Community Action ask about it and they'll help you out. Okay, great. Thank you all so much. I hope you have found this uh, beneficial. Don't turn off your television just yet because now we are actually going to provide all of the list of the forms, our phone numbers, the websites, and uh, thank you so much for joining us today.